Hello, everybody. I hope you guys are all enjoying your Thursday so far. Today, we're going to be talking about a potential severe weather outbreak across the Mississippi Valley and surrounding areas to kick off April. Uh, everything's going to be on the table here. Tornadoes and wind are going to be a real concern. So uh, let's take a look at the SPC outlook, the Storm Prediction Center outlook for Monday, April 1st. That's this coming Monday. So we're still four days out. But as you guys can see, we have a full area highlighted here uh, from the Dallas Fort Worth area and the southern plains all the way up through the Ozarks, the Mississippi River Valley, and into parts of the Ohio Valley on Monday. So uh, areas like Kansas City, St. Louis, Tulsa, and Oklahoma City down through the Dallas-Fort Worth area and all the way back into Indianapolis have to watch for severe weather. Now this is a broad stretching potential threat of severe weather. Everything's going to be a possibility here including tornadoes and wind. And this could be a pretty significant event. So this is from CSU, Colorado State University. So so uh, this is basically an experimental outlook for what the SPC outlook could be on that day. Now, this isn't going to be 100% accurate or set in stone, but it is a pretty good guess based on the information that we have at this time. And it shows a broad area uh, where we could be seeing some very significant severe weather with enhanced and moderate risk type probabilities uh, across the Ozarks and parts of the Mississippi Valley. So this is something that we're watching for. Especially given that threat of tornadoes, we're watching it very closely. So uh, what we're going to be doing is just forecasting this a little bit, taking a look at the ingredients that uh, that are in place, and we're going to speed this up to Easter Easter Sunday here on the European model. So we are going to have a couple things going on. We'll speed this along a few frames. I want you guys to watch this big U-shaped thing over here in the western United States. This is our trough. This is what is tracking our storm system along. So taking that a couple of frames later, you guys can see what we're always talking about here. This fish hook, this giant ski jump, uh, and this is going to be pulling in a bunch of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. All that warm air is going to be clashing with that cool dry air when the cool when the cold front moves in, and that clashing of air masses is going to create a fight in the atmosphere to get us some severe thunderstorm activity. So again, we talk about all that Gulf moisture getting pulled in. Uh, this is what we would call a warm sector that's going to be developing on Monday. That's uh, April 1st here. And uh, as you guys can see, we're we're going to have these 60s dew points, these blues and purples. This is some really moist air that's going to be getting pulled all the way up into the central Mississippi Valley, up through the Ohio Valley. This entire area is ripe for severe weather. Uh, if we can see storms utilizing the instability and wind shear that we're going to have in place. Wind shear is those strong winds that are changing direction with height as you go further up into the atmosphere. Uh, the stronger that that is, with stronger instability, is going to make those storms more organized, could really get them severe very quickly. We're not going to have a ton of instability, but we are going to have a lot of wind shear in place, so severe weather definitely on the table for a broad area on Monday. And again, that does definitely include a threat of tornadoes as well, because these storms are going to be spinning. We're going to have some supercell storms in here. Those are the ones that have the highest chance of producing tornadoes in many cases like this one. And it's going to be April at this point, so you would expect storm systems like this. So let's just kind of take a look at how these storms are going to progress. This is starting off with Monday morning, April 1st. So we're going to have some storms up and down the plains all the way up there into the Ohio River Valley. They, they don't really become widespread until Monday evening, and then they kind of to calm down a little bit as we head into Tuesday. There is a continued threat of severe weather on Tuesday across the Tennessee and Ohio River Valleys here from Columbus, Ohio, all the way down through Nashville, through Chattanooga and into uh, northern uh, parts of Mississippi and Alabama. So we're, we're continuing to watch severe weather on Tuesday, April 2nd uh, with tornadoes and wind possible. Shouldn't be as significant of a threat though. Again, this is Tuesday morning. As we get into the afternoon and evening, these storms could get pretty widespread again uh, before calming down as we head into Wednesday morning of April 3rd when these storms will be either moving off the coast or into the southeastern United States. So we are watching severe weather for really two days. I think it's going to be the main thing to keep an eye on, and that's April 1st and April 2nd, Monday and Tuesday of next week. That's four to five days away, so there is a lot of things that are going to be changing as we get closer, but we are going to be monitoring all of them. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for this update. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more of them, be sure to subscribe to the channel with those posts notifications turned on and also be sure to drop a like on the video if you guys want other people to get this information as well but until the next video stay safe and i will talk to you guys in the next one